A woman has had her gym membership canceled after she posted a story to her Instagram body shaming a man for working out topless. Ali Singer, who has social media accounts under the handle at the underscore ripped Barbie, provoked outrage online after filming a fellow gym goer at the Absolute Recomp in North Richland Hills, Texas. In a clip, she films an unnamed man doing sit-ups and says, if you're going to work out topless, at least have some muscle. I'm gonna wear a shirt. Can you at least have some muscle? That looks like. If you're not going to wear a shirt, can you at least have some muscles? Listen, I get it. You want to train at a gym where everyone keeps their shirt on? That's fine. But this gym isn't one of them. I called Absolute Recomp in Texas, and their rules say you can train with your shirt off and you signed up there. Therefore, you need to follow the rules, including the rule that says you don't film people without their consent to post on social media. And people tried to tell you this, yet you arrogantly posted your response when they tried to defend this man and you didn't listen. Therefore, you get me. And I also find it funny that you post calling them keyboard warriors, that if you go to the same gym, they should come and find you that they should speak to you face to face, yet you think it's okay to film that man and make fun of him literally behind his back without him knowing. And just a heads up, they can't find you at that gym anymore because I talked to the owner and your membership has been canceled. You need to do better. Mind your own business. After the clip went viral, fitness influencer Joey Swole took to TikTok to reveal he had spoken to the gym manager and she now had her membership canceled. Singer did not apologize, instead standing by her actions and labeling her critics as keyboard warriors. Taking to TikTok, Joey said that many gyms do not allow their members to work out topless. He pointed out that this rule did not apply at Absolute Recomp. Posting a clip to his account, he said, Listen, I get it. You want to train at a gym where everyone keeps their shirt on. Fine, but this gym isn't one of them. I called Absolute Recomp in Texas, and their rules say you can train with your shirt off, and you signed up there. Despite the person Ali filmed following the rules of the gym, Ali did not do the same by filming the individual. Commenting on this, Joey continued, You need to follow the rules, including the rule that says you don't film people without their consent to post on social media, and people tried to tell you this. Yet you arrogantly posted your response when they defended this man, and you didn't listen. Joey finished his video by confirming that he was able to Ali's membership cancelled, stating, Your membership has been cancelled you need to do better, mind your own business. Making fun of someone at the gym for not being in shape has got to be one of the dumbest things possible. That's exactly why they're at the gym. Shouldn't they be at the gym if they're out of shape? I mean, isn't that exactly where they should be? And the other thing is that this girl should know that there is a lot of motivation and two of the main ones are seen in the gym. One is self-motivation, which is the reason why there are mirrors in gyms. People have the desire to improve ourselves and we see how we work. And so, we visualize a proposed goal and the other group's motivation by seeing people work and train with the best they can motivates us to continue. Well, assuming you go to the gym, you exercise. And so, a huge round of applause to Joey Swole. I just love how a woman who has had some work done is ridiculing a man for doing the same thing she has, self-improve. The only difference is, he is putting in the hard work and from the looks of it, she got plastic surgery. We can only hope she learns a lesson from this. We all know she's done this before, and with, I'm pretty sure, multiple gyms in that area, she will do it again. How about when you join a gym, there is a list of kicked gym members from the local area so you can be warned. I'm happy for anyone who goes to a gym to work on themselves. If you take your shirt off in a public place, you invite comments from anyone who can see you. That's just nature. I'll go ahead and say this to all. Quit wasting time being offended and go get your gym work in. Who knew in the year 2023, we'd have to remind people that a gym is a public space, that it's a shared space where men and women pay a monthly gym fee, and that they all have equal rights to the machines and area that's provided inside. Unfortunately, with social media on the boom, and the rise of the modern women who believe filming themselves working out in the gym is a necessity, and that too with the entitled mindset that you can see in the clips shared at the beginning of this video, you know that women need someone to tell them that the gym is not their personal space, where they can film in front of the dumbbell rack and call out anyone who comes in the video they're making. Women, it's not your private personal gym where you get to become angry at others who are actually working out in the gym 
and not just trying to get a photo shoot out of it every day. It's more important for these women to film themselves working out in the gym than actually working out and going about their business. The second clip is even more funny, as the girl gets frustrated right in front of the dumbbell rack, waiting for guys to stop making a cameo in her videos. I mean, it's a rack and everyone will use it. They're not going to wait for you to get your perfect Snapchat or TikTok workout done before they can start their exercise. It's hilarious in my opinion. If you think about it, modern women have ruined the sanctity of gyms because they were always one of the only places where people could go and work out in peace. And for all those who've been to gyms know that it's not just a workout. Going to the gym helps you keep focused. It helps you rationalize and streamline your thoughts. It helps you self-reflect. It is the perfect investment in yourself and in your future. But if you go to the gym today, you can bet you'll encounter at least one woman with a camera or her phone on a tripod, trying to record everything she can so she can get all the curvy angles, which she can then edit and post online on her social media and dating accounts, where millions of thirsty guys have the opportunity to see her and more of her. She's going to want to catch you gazing at her while she stretches in a strange yoga stance. So please don't peek at her when you're strolling in that area, working out there, or genuinely need to use the equipment she's been hogging for the past two hours. Then she's going to post a picture of your face online, branding you as a creep who followed her around just to make out with her while she was innocently working out and minding her own business. If you come to think of it, there's only one thing behind all of this for women, and it is validation. I've started to believe that most women are now addicted and even desperate for instant validation and gratification. If they don't get it for some time, they start to do risky things and start acting out against men because they're so desperate and hungry for attention, which they didn't get, that they end up doing things such as recording themselves wearing tightly fitted clothes in the gym and then recording themselves online. The fact that these women don't want guys to watch them working out yet they videotape their workouts and post them online for millions of people to view is hypocritical. To add to that, no, they don't want to look at men who are completely shredded and not their usually 10 ranking chads. Is this a gym or a fantasy world, lady? I would contend that recording yourself in the gym and thus recording others is worse than a guy looking at you. Even worse, are you looking at a guy and saying he shouldn't have his shirt off because he doesn't have muscles? That's like someone saying you shouldn't wear tights because you don't have a bubble butt. Would you be okay with that? As many people tend to point out on these videos, the fact they are worried about one guy looking but uploading themselves to thousands of dudes online is just insane. I love how these girls complain about people looking at them in the gym while they are recording themselves for possibly thousands of people to see them with a close-up view on TikTok. Since it is inappropriate for women to openly express how attractive they find themselves, these women pretend that the men who are constantly staring at them are doing so because they are so incredibly attractive. They are trying to elevate themselves by putting down innocent bystanders by framing them. Thus, it is all BS. But I can wear what I want, you say, and you chose to wear outfits that make you want to be looked at. Yes, you can, and you choose to wear outfits that encourage attention when you go to the gym, wearing items that practically seem painted on and displaying as much flesh as is legally permitted to attract attention. I always glance at those around me and those who move around me, so I understand the situation should something happen. Besides, if you don't want to be looked at, then you can stay home and do the same exercises for free. You need attention and validation and then get mad once you get it. The ones that get me the most are those girls who actively make it a thing to be checked out. There are times I have been doing shoulder presses or curls in an almost empty section of the gym. Girls will make it a thing to walk as close as possible and do that gym pose. They do before picking up weight and then proceed to work out like two meters away from me with their backs in my face whilst looking at me through the mirror. Those times make my experience horrible because now I have to actively make it known that I am ignoring the massive attention seeker in my personal space so I don't look like a creep. What's ironic is when you go on the bench press and girls walk past, you can see them staring at your junk. The whole creeped on thing is a nuanced subject. There definitely are some weird simps out there who will follow girls around the gym and stare at them, but that's not the majority of guys. Some women assume every guy is watching them when they're not. Hats off to Joey Swole who schooled this woman for making fun of a man working out in the gym. You're a hero, sir. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.